Hi folks, I'm Cameron Prince, Pioneer Field Agronomist, and today I'm in Southwest Georgia scouting for stink bugs and corn. Now I'm out here scouting today not because I've seen any physical signs of damage from stink bugs, but simply because we're at that time of year when the wheat and small grains are beginning to dry down, and these stink bugs are looking for an alternative host to feed on. And right now the corn is at a very susceptible stage from damage from these stink bugs. Now as we can see here, I've shook back part of the stalk to expose what will soon be the ear. Um, it's not quite emerged through the leaf collar up here, but this ear is very, very small. The early stages of development is very susceptible to damage from stink bugs because what happens is the stink bug is going to come in and feed on this little spot. It won't be a very sizable wound, but as this ear grows and expands, that damage and wound will get even bigger as the ear expands. So one of the telltale signs of stink bugs damage at this stage is going to be during the grain field period, the tip of the ear should have what looks to be sort of a hawk's bill or crook on the very tip that indicates the stink bug feeding damage at this stage of corn. So lastly, uh, corn can still be affected by stink bugs through the late grain field stages. Now generally that's only going to be on one or two kernels as those kernels get much bigger. So not very much resulting yield effect. However, this damage creates an open wound site that could allow for some ear molds and disease to come in and potentially affect grain quality. So we want to monitor the seat bugs from about the V10 growth stage, especially near small grains and wheat fields that begin to dry down, but also through the late grain field stages as well. Again, I'm Cameron Prince, Pioneer. Thanks for watching. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.